Yeah. Melanie Alford is the um, is the Cat Scott Your Tongue Scholarship recipient. So that's this scholarship. Funded in part by your gift at the door and by the hilarious and wonderful patron Kathy McFerrin, who couldn't be here tonight. Hey Kathy. Melanie has been published in Perceptions magazine and the Gravity of the Thin. She lives and writes in cars while adventuring. Come on out. He is precisely as careful as me, which is not at all. He anchors the top of his left foot around a not very sturdy looking branch and leans across two thin twigs to grab the biggest leaf he can find. Hides his whole head behind it. His hair tufts up behind the huge green. I love his hair as much as I hated the hugeness of mine at eat. You're slow, lady. Can it? I'm on practice. Do you want to tell me about school today? Why were you so sad when you came home? I'm climbing the route I remember, the one I've climbed a hundred times. I can feel the magic seeping into my hands and feet, traveling up capillaries and into beings, and I want to climb fast. The magic floods my body when I climb quickly, like the monkey above me. But I want to hear every word of his day, so I move slowly. Michael is running at recess, and his shoes were going flop-flop on the ground. The bottoms were coming off. We were racing, and he's faster than me, so I listened to his shoes, and I tripped. Did you hurt yourself? I try to sound calm. I jam my left knee in a crease of thick branches, loop an arm around, and step onto the top of the joint with my right foot. No, these kids started yelling at Michael to get new shoes. He's faster than everyone, and no one, not, no one likes that. We all hear his shoes in gym. I think I want to punch these children in each of their little faces, but that's not an okay thing to do, so I keep climbing. But I grab the last branch separating me from Elijah so hard my fingertips turn white and the beds of my nails turn angry red. Then what? I told them all to shut up and I walked away with Michael. He said he wants shoes, but his mom said they're too expensive. My stomach holds the stone of memory of when shoes were too expensive for my mother. I hope Michael's mom doesn't cry about it in front of him like mine did. How did you feel when you said that? It hurt my heart. It felt like when I stepped on that nail in the backyard but in my chest. I feel my legs wrap around the branch I'm balanced on. I turn my thighs outward from the hips to hold on tighter with the backs of my knees. I lean back until the top half of my spine touches bridges of bark. The God I don't believe in fills my head. The impossible ability to change the world with a thought. My hands slide into my pockets and fingertips graze the heaviness of cold basalt. Does it still hurt? Yeah. He's so quietly, I can barely hear the strain in his voice. Okay, lean back and close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Listen to the leaves and branches. Wait for the magic to come. I learned the tree magic nine years ago. Right after I walked down the street to Whole Foods for a pregnancy test with Drew, who didn't understand that you go to Walgreens for that. And they don't look at you like you've obviously screwed up your teenage life. <laughs> He paced on the other side of the bathroom door, asking every eight seconds if I knew anything. I knew he was digging his hands in the fists from nerves. After there were two pink lines instead of one, I fled his excitement north on 13th Street. The sister you, and three blocks west of the park, to this street. I climbed as fast as I could to escape my lovely height here and Drew. I wanted to disappear. My lungs wouldn't take a full breath. I needed to get closer to something. I started taking off my shirt, then my pants hanging clothes on branches. When I felt air on skin, I pressed as much flesh as I could against the bark at the center of this maple. In my head, I became branches and roots, quietly present. My breathing lengthened, my gas, my gas quieted and subsided. The rustle of leaves rubbing against each other filled my senses. I could hear the green spines of leaves carrying chlorophyll, the cycle of photosynthesis completed. Warm calm, blah, warm calm started from the core of maple, the nearest part. 
that spread outward through all the seasons of years of its life, bubbling through its rough scaly protection. I pushed every ounce of air from my lungs and held still against the impulse to breathe. Warmth pushed against my belly, my thighs, the soft insides of my arms. It circled my body, pressing inward until my blood and marrow filled with warm quiet, with calm, with the magic of living wood. I feel it, says Monkey. It's breathing quiet. Ah. <laughs>